Hey there again, welcome back. Today we're gonna build a simple oscillator. Yeah, this project requires minimal electronic components and minimal usage of your brain. Hope you enjoy the show again. For your information, CMOS technology is used in various ICs such as microprocessor, microcontroller, static RAM, and the one we're interested in today, digital logic circuit. I see you coming. Why in the hell would we use this kind of technology to make a synth? Well, the CD40106 is called an inverter, and with minimal component, we may build an oscillator. Let's take a look at how it works. Okay, this is the IC pinout. Pin 14 is positive power supply. Pin 7 is the ground connection. As you see, there is six inverters in this IC. It's the way it's configured inside. We want to focus on the first inverter for now. There's an input and an output. Pretty simple, huh? Like I said, with two components, we can make this inverter oscillate. Put a capacitor from input to ground and a variable resistor from output to input, which is our feedback resistor. Once the circuit is powered and let's say our input is set to low by default, according to the table of truth, our output will automatically be set to high. Then the high level goes to the output of our circuit and a part of the voltage will go back to the input by the feedback resistor and by that way charge the capacitor. Once it's full, the input level is bring to high, so the output goes to low. The capacitor will just discharge and leave the input to a low level, bringing back the output to high. These actions take place in about microseconds. I think you can figure out now that this is kind of a flip-flop oscillator, because the output always want to invert the state of its input. Notice that the value of the capacitor and resistor will directly influence the frequency of the oscillation, depending on how fast it charge and discharge a capacitor. I hope it was pretty clear here. So now we know how to build this oscillator, we just need to do it. Don't forget, input is pin 1 and output is pin 2.
Okay guys, like you heard, we got some pretty nice sound out of this oscillator. That's why in next episode we will add more stuff to it. Now, try experimenting with different capacitor values. But turn down the volume so your mom don't get mad. Until then, I say to you, yeah boy, see you around. Thank <laughs> you.